Hey everyone, it's your host Alonso, ready to take you on a new STEM Engineer adventure. Look behind me, it looks like there's a tornado coming. Today we'll be talking about tornadoes. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. And now back to today's topic. Tornadoes can happen any time of the year, but they occur pretty often in the United States, starting in the spring. Tornadoes are really interesting, but they can be really dangerous too. How much do you know about tornadoes? Let's take a closer look behind the science around tornadoes and some cool facts about tornadoes. First, what is a tornado? A tornado is a fast rotating column of air that starts from a thunderstorm and then stretches and touches the ground. So how do tornadoes form? Scientists don't have all the answers to this question, but they have a lot has been done in research over the years to learn how tornadoes form. Generally, what they know is often they form in severe thunderstorms. Severe thunderstorms can form when cold, dry air and warm, humid air meet. The warm air rises within the thunderstorm, which can cause the wind to rotate within the storm. The winds can become faster and more violent as the storm becomes stronger. If the correct conditions occur, a funnel cloud can form and reach down in the earth, becoming a tornado. So now we know what tornadoes are and how they form. Where do tornadoes occur though? Tornadoes are most common in a specific part of the United States called Tornado Alley. It includes North Texas, Oklahoma, East Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, and parts of South Dakota. Let's test your tornado knowledge with a quick pop quiz. Which US state has the highest annual average number of tornadoes? Is it A, Oklahoma, B, Kansas, C, Texas, or D, Nebraska? If you said C, you're correct. The correct answer is Texas. According to National Geographic, Texas averaged just around 120 tornadoes per year. That's a lot of tornadoes. So are all tornadoes the same? No, they're not. There is a special scale scientists use to measure how strong tornadoes are, and that's called the Enhanced Fujita Scale, EF for short. The Fujita Scale rates tornadoes based on their wind speed and how much damage they cause. Here's a look at the Enhanced Fujita Scale. EF scores ranged from 0 to 5, with 0 being the weakest and 5 being the strongest. Can you believe that EF5 tornadoes have wind speeds over 200 miles per hour? So now that we know about tornadoes, let's talk about some cool and wacky tornado facts. Did you know the worst tornado outbreak in the U.S. was in April 2011? According to the National Weather Service, about 349 tornadoes struck 21 different states in only three days. Four of those 349 tornadoes were the strongest on the Enhanced Fujita Scale, EF5. Unfortunately, 324 people died and over 2,000 people were hurt. Also, did you know that, according to AccuWeather, tornadoes can last as short as a few minutes, but as long as a few hours? Also, you might think that strong tornadoes only happen in Tornado Alley, but they can also occur in other places you might not expect. According to AccuWeather, powerful tornadoes can occur in the no northeast of the United States. For example, in 1985, an EF5 tornado hit western Pennsylvania. So now you know. Thanks for joining me in a STEM Engineer adventure. If you like learning about STEM-related topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow STEM Engineer on Instagram and Twitter. Also, if you enjoy my videos, remember to drop a like down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Demogear video.